Chapter 1. My self-love, my gamble. My name is Celeste, Valkyrie daughter of Odin, the ruler of the Norse gods, and while I do not know your name, dear reader, I sense your warm presence. I know you can hear my organised thoughts. If you doubt me, I ask of you a small favour. Please, lovely reader, gently suspend your logical disbelief and fearlessly trust that my truth is honest and unthreatening. Unseen reader, I wonder if you are aware of your own world's ancient mythology. Have you seen the movie stories of your world that portray the Norse deities dear to me, whom both our world's scholars name as Odin, Thor and Loki? As impossible as it may seem to you, the Norse gods I named are not fantasy upon mythos, your world's twin in a parallel universe. Magic is real on my world. Human eyes cannot detect it, but with my supernatural vision, I have often spied upon wispy blue tendrils of magic floating into the air. On your world of Earth, Odin exists in written stories and in your visual movie stories. On my world, many of my winged Valkyrie sisters, who fit your world's most ancient description of angels when we summon our white-feathered wings, have seen Odin. The people of Earth wrote of Odin, imagined him into existence upon my world, and your world's people also created many other gods and goddesses on mythos, such as gods ruling over people who call themselves Celtics, Greeks, Romans, Egyptians, Persians, Aztecs, and the Olang people upon my world. In your world's past, the people I named existed there during separate time periods within your ancient history but the people I listed coexist in my world's present. If my revelations are overwhelming, I apologise, my calm reader. I do not wish to unsettle your thoughts with confusion. I wish to genuinely earn your trust with my own patience and understanding. Lend me your ear and perhaps your heart as I speak of my own love of Odin. My deity father's unseen presence fuels me with inspiration that I wish to bestow upon you in hopes that you will return my love upon your own God or upon your own spiritual journey, whichever you prefer. Odin is dear to me since he is the father of myself, of all Valkyrie. I was not always as confident as I may seem to you. When I was ten years of age, only five years earlier, I had greatly feared summoning my Valkyrie wings in the presence of normal humans. Odin's presence eventually inspired me with the courage to reveal my true self, without fear of judgment. Throughout my stories of my world's unfolding turmoil, I wish to teach you more than a few details concerning our shared deities, gods and goddesses. If you are patient with me, you may learn more about yourself, and your own greater understanding of you may help you love yourself as greatly as I love this life of mine that I must gamble upon to protect my human family. Increasing or discovering a selfless love for your own birth family or chosen family is also essential in accepting yourself with honesty. Preceding the reflections I assembled as story one, I organised a brief explanation of our world's shared history, our history of human deities, which are mere mythology, fantasy fiction, upon your science fueled world. 1. Question 1. Choose the image that reveals magic as I briefly described it. 2. Question 2. Choose the planet that my world of mythos appears like. 3. Question 3. Choose the images that best represent Thor and Odin visually within the Marvel movies. 4. Question 4. Valkyries are shapeshifters who can summon magic. Choose the image they appear after summoning their angelic gift.